Okay, so I just got done watching the Tinder Swindler on Netflix, and uh, it was interesting. I highly recommend it. It was super entertaining. Um, it was just a, a prime example of, <laughs> you know, the world we live in nowadays in 2022. Um, it's a uh, cold world, and there's a lot of scammers out there. There's a lot of shallow people, um, and I just couldn't help thinking to myself as I'm watching this. Um, about some of the lessons to be learned throughout the course of this documentary. So to recap for those who haven't seen it, uh, spoiler alert, but basically the whole premise of the show is there's this guy who has a Tinder account. He basically presents himself through this Tinder account as being this baller. I think he he is, is posing as the CEO or the C COO or the owner or basically founder, of an important figure of this diamond company and, and he's presenting his lifestyle as this super extravagant, wealthy lifestyle of him traveling a lot and him hanging out with important people or being at important events and just really portraying this image that he's someone who is important. And um, it turns out that he's a scam. Uh, he's not the owner or, or not an executive figure at one of these big uh, diamond companies. He's actually just a scammer, a manipulator, uh, a sleazy, sleazy salesman. Um, and, and basically what he does is he finds these women on Tinder and manipulates them into them giving him a bunch of money through methods such as convincing them to take out credit cards in their name and lend him money or buy him flights promising them that he's going to pay them back and uh, it's this 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 huge like Ponzi scheme almost where he's getting money from girl A to fund dates with girl B and then he's stealing money from girl B <laughs> to to uh, fly to go see girl C and it's just it's this super twisted modern day uh, story um, and it's super entertaining but I couldn't help thinking about some of the lessons to be learned as I'm going through it and knowing my history with making videos on dating apps and relationships and things like that you know I thought I had to make a video about this so first point that comes to mind and, and I have a previous video on it is dating apps suck I mean look at look at the people that are on these apps that are attracted to these apps Simon, that's that's the Tinder swindler. Simon is a manipulator, um, a sociopath, a criminal, and he is flaunted as a high value man on these dating apps. That kind of just tells you what other types of people are on them, what other types of people are lying on them, what other types of people are presenting themselves as someone they're totally not. And you're totally buying into it or or you're buying into that idea which makes you get upset when they do not respond or they do not a relationship doesn't develop with them you don't know who these people are on the other side of these apps you don't know if this person is legit you don't know if this person is a sociopath you don't know if this person is going to steal your money yet these are the types of people that are attracted to these types of apps. And I'm not saying everybody on them is, is you know, gonna steal your money. But there's probably a good chance that some of the people that you're interacting with or at least being exposed to on these apps are very shitty humans. And, and Simon's not the only one in the wrong. I mean, to be completely honest and completely transparent, the women that bought into it were probably chasing him. They weren't probably, they were chasing him because of his, extrava his extravagant lifestyle, because of what he was presenting, you know, his, his ability to flaunt himself and present himself as someone who's wealthy. I mean, these, these, these women were interested in him probably because of his money. And, uh, you know, it's not, you know, someone who's successful and wealthy is, is absolutely, um, something to look up to and something to look for in, in someone else, but um, the point I'm trying to make is that you know there's a lot of shallow people that are also attracted to these apps as well. So, And not only are these apps attracting shallow people, the wrong types of people at times, 
in, in literally the opening scene of this documentary or one of the opening scenes, one of the women that were in it, she was talking about Tinder and, and how long she's been on it and how many matches she had. And I remember her saying she had over a thousand matches. You are, you, you are talking or you had the opportunity to date a thousand different people, yet you're still single. Like, yet you're still in the same position. There's no progress to be made. There's a saying that goes something along the lines of um, insanity is the result or, or the thinking that doing the same thing over and over and over again is going to create a different result. That's the definition of insanity. And that's literally what these apps are doing. She's matched with over a thousand people, yet the result has been the same. She's still single. So um, I thought that was interesting. I thought that was a, a good example of, of, of why you should get off these apps. The next thing I noticed with, um, with watching this is how, really how good of a salesman this Simon guy is. And I don't mean that in the sense that, you know, it's an honorable thing for him to do, but he's good at his craft. He's a, he's a master manipulator is what he is. He, he is able to bond and form connections with people and, and manipulate them and control them in, in ways to, to act in certain ways that he wants them to act. And um, one of the ways that he did this was through, through love bombing. He would like, like manipulate these women emotionally through, he would you know act like he's, he's, he's all in love with them. He would fly them on these private jets. Um, he would take them out on these super extravagant dinners, send them roses. And then all of a sudden, boom, he'd, be, he'd present this scenario where he's in a, an emergency situation and he needs, he needs her to pay them uh, or to lend him money and, and he'll pay her back. And it's these super emotionally charged situations that cause people to act irrationally. I mean, the idea of taking out a credit card and, and, and putting it in your name, but giving it to someone else is an unbelievably irrational thing to do. This, any sane person, any person in their right mind state wouldn't even consider doing that. But these women he targets are so emotionally charged that they fall for it. And it just goes to show how powerful emotions can be and how when you find yourself in these super emotionally charged situations, whether it's emotional in a good sense or emotional in a negative sense, be careful on making decisions in those states of mind because it, it can lead to $250,000 worth of debt down the road as it did for um, some of the people in this documentary. And then the third and final thing I kind of realized while watching this is um, and, I, and I've alluded, I, I talked about this in a previous video, is actions speak louder than words. And, uh, you know, this is another prime example of that. This, this Simon guy in the, in the Tinder swindler, he would make all, the, all these false promises, say he'd pay these women back, say, say he loved them. Um, but, you know, your actions don't follow that. Your actions don't align with that. You know, you can only bullshit someone so much before they realize the truth. And um, I've gotten to the point in my life to where I, I, I follow actions right from the get-go now. You know, people can tell me one thing, but until action follows it, um, I really don't believe it too much anymore. And I think had some of these women uh, looked, at, looked at the scenario from a third-person perspective and, and looked at some of the actions and some of the tangible things that were happening, as opposed to the emotionally charged words that this Simon guy was telling them, maybe they would have cut off the relationship before they lost a bunch of money. And, uh, and I'm not blaming these, these women uh, because they were victims. He, he was absolutely manipulating them and, and he is a criminal. Um, but you know, just it's, a, it's another reason to always put emphasis on actions um, more so than what people tell you and, and what people say because 
they may have the right intentions or, or they may mean what they say in the moment, but that's not to say that they don't mean it a couple days down the road or a couple months down the road um, when the situation is a little different. So to wrap it up, to sum it up, it was a really entertaining documentary. I encourage you guys to watch it. I encourage you guys to get off the dating apps and actually meet people in real life. And that is all I got for you. Peace.